Hi, I'm Riley McKellen. I'm in Year 6 at Goulburn West Public School and I wrote Tales of an Unpredictable Nanny with Jacqueline. The Mighty Playwrights program empowers young people to discover their voices through literacy education and the performing arts. Young writers work with mentors to create original play scripts. They are completely free to write their stories however they choose, with no limits or guidelines. This is Riley's story. Originally I was just drawing at school in like the middle of class when it really wasn't supposed to be and I was sort of just drawing a character which was the nanny and that's how it started. I sort of brought that in and like this is my character that's based like 1500s, we can work from there. Riley was so, she would just love to learn about character development. So um, she spent a lot of time developing her characters and making them um, really shine before creating the story and the plot line and things like that. Okay, so it's based 15 to 16-ish hundreds in that sort of time period in a sort of Spanish empire, I suppose. And there's this royal family with a king, a queen and four children, two boys, two girls. and. They've always had trouble finding nannies and like caregivers to look after their kids because the kids always so find some way to get rid of them because they're very mischievous. That was really amazing to be working with her, um, whereas I just, I just got to just be a part of this creative process that she was going on, this journey, um, through her wild imagination, <laughs> which was really gorgeous. Jacqueline didn't know what the leader theatre looked like yet and I've, I'd been there before because like, I'd seen a couple of like the musicals and plays and I had this very distinct idea of how I wanted it to be, how I wanted the table and the dinner scene to be set up, how I wanted them sort of looking at the audience because there was one point I think where we were sort of going to have the nanny carry one of the kids across the stage and then we're like, hold on a minute, how is that going to work? Tales of an Unpredictable Nanny by Riley McKellar. This is a tale of olden times. It concerns a king and a queen who needed a nanny. But the one they got wasn't the one they wished for. It all began when the king and the queen heard a knock on the door. I am King Edward. And I am Queen Elsa. We are trying to find a new nanny, and we're pleased to have you apply. It's, it's lovely to meet you, Your Majesties. And thank you for the opportunity for this role. I have always wanted to work for royalty. I am Lady Isabel. Shall we start with the interview then? Yes, please. <laughs> And what is your experience with children? Oh, I, I have been working with children a long time and, and I find they always seem to love me be, because of my teaching background. And how do you act with children? I always act loving and kind because I, I love them. <laughs> You're in, Macy. We're not supposed to be in here, are we? Dab a bad. <laughs> and these are our lovely children. <laughs> lovely. Are you sure you can handle them? We have had 
problems with previous nannies. Our children are very mischievous and say that the nannies are mean. But I'm sure that you are lovely. Yes, I'm sure I can handle them. Okay then, you're hired. We shall let you get them ready for dinner then. Right, let's get one thing straight. I'm only here for the reputation and I don't care about you run rats. Your job is to make me look good at all times. Just follow these few rules and everything will go fine. Rule one, nothing, I repeat, nothing out of the ordinary goes back to the king and queen. Rule two, sometime later, rule one hundred! <clears throat> Dinner is served. We will finish this after. The dinner scene! Huzzah! <laughs> We need to get rid of her. How are we going to get rid of this nanny? I don't really want to get in trouble. She seems so mean. Let's do plan 144. Um, what was that plan again? Food fight. Rug to that. I don't really agree with this. I may see just get over it. So what if we get in a little trouble? Okay, but I'm taking no blame. <laughs> She should be disciplining them. <laughs> See, James knows how to have fun. Three, two, one. <laughs> Shouldn't she be doing something? A proper nanny would discipline them immediately. How spirited they are! <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, that is, does not apply to what you said two seconds ago. <laughs> Some people change. <laughs> Clearly, you can't discipline your own children. You rely on us nannies to do all the work. <laughs> you lazy buffoon! <gasps> How dare you! You're fired. You'll pay for this one day! <gasps> Yay! Yay! Oh, hush, children! Oh dear, we need to find a new nanny. Your Majesties, I am Gabriella. I heard there was a new position for a nanny and I would like to apply. Oh dear. News travels quickly and it's only the early 1500s. I even bought gifts for you all. <gasps> yes. yes! Thank you! Yay! Thank you. <sighs> Thank you, that's very kind. Yes, I like her. Hire her. Okay, you're hired. Can you start right away? Of course. Bath time, children. Later that night. I can't believe you brought us all gifts. You're so much better than our old nanny. She only wanted to be royalty. She'll never be as cool as you. But that was You were talking about me? <gasps> Get lost. I am here to 
to stay. We'll get rid of you like we did the last time. You can't get rid of me. I be tormented by children like you all my life. I will always have the upper hand. After all, I'm Gabriella. <laughs> Your parents will never know the difference. I'm a marvellous actor. <laughs> you can't trick them forever. Watch me. And remember, rule number one. <laughs> Nothing goes back to your parents! Um, if we didn't have stories or different ways of doing stories, then it would be sort of, or you wouldn't have any way to tell anyone anything. Even talking, I suppose, is a story. Probably to understand how theatre works a bit more. I didn't really know much about how it was performed. I just knew you read a script, you sent it off, and it got performed. But sort of with Jacqueline and the Playwrights, I've understood how it happens a lot more.